Ah, oh, g'day, welcome to Farming Live Australia. Today's video is a review of the Pearl Above 91.6cc chainsaw from Jono and Jono. Just before we get started, Jono and Jono haven't paid me to say anything nice about the chainsaw. I paid for this chainsaw out of my own money and I can do whatever I want to do with it and say whatever I want to say about it. I did a video about this saw when I got it. I unboxed it, showed what you get with the saw and gave a bit of detail. It would probably make more sense if you watched that video first. I said at the time when I made the video that I wasn't going to do a full review until I'd run the saw in and become more familiar with it. I've done that now and I feel confident and comfortable enough with the saw to now do the review. The only thing I've done to the saw since I've had it is put fuel in it and bar oil and use it and run it in. I bought this saw with a 25 inch bar and the appropriate chain for it. However, you can get it in lots of various sizes and if you look at Jono and Jono's website, you can see those sizes there listed. Like all Pearl Barb chainsaws, it comes with a Hurricane Pro bar and a Hurricane chain. Now I've got these chains and bars on all my saws now and I have had no trouble with them whatsoever. What I'll be doing with this saw today is showing you the features of it, doing some cutting. I will also be doing some cutting with a 70cc Pearl of Barb chainsaw and showing you how they stack up against each other. And both the saws will be prepared in the same way. They'll be sharpened by me and the air cleaners cleaned, the chains tensioned and the regular ongoing things you do to a chainsaw will be done and then we'll do the comparison test. One interesting feature of this saw is if you turn it over, under here it has an aluminium plate. I think it's a good thing for protection. I haven't seen it before, but it does have that on it. I'm now going to check and clean the air cleaner. It's just a matter of unscrewing this knob at the back of the air cleaner housing and pulling that cover off. I'll give that a clean inside, make sure there's no dust in it with my brush. I'll hold the air cleaner on tight with my fingers and brush any dust that's there on the outside off that's loose so I don't get it inside the saw when I take the filter off. That's the filter. For anyone who has had anything to do with the Still 660, you will see that it's a very similar type of filter. It has this little piece here that can come off. I'll just clean all the components, making sure not to get any down the throat of the carburetor. Put that one back on. Just take notice of which way it comes off so it goes on the same way. This filter really doesn't need much doing to it at all. It has an outside sleeve that you can take off and when that gets a bit choked up you can blow it out with your compressor if you want to. I don't know if the camera will pick it up but you can see inside here some dust has gone through that first outside filter and it won't pick it up but when you look in here it hasn't penetrated right through the filter. What I will do with these is take them over to my compressor and blow them out. I've blown both components of the air cleaner out I don't know if you can see much difference in the camera. There is a little bit of difference. Really the saw has not done that many hours to actually require the air cleaner being cleaned. But I did say we were going to prepare both saws the same way. Assemble your filter again with the piece around the outside. Place your filter back on. Put your cover back in place. Lastly, screw up your knob. The chain is a little bit loose on the saw and I will adjust it up before I use it but I'll sharpen the saw first. Both saws will be sharpened the same way. To do a really accurate test with these saws we'd be using two new chains. I don't have and I don't want to buy two new chains to do that. We will just have to assume that both the saws are about the same sharpness. Before I tighten the chain, I'll grease the tip. Ah, I can see it coming out here, up the top here now. So that's well and truly greased. I'll now tighten the chain. First thing we do is loosen off these two nuts. Once you loosen those nuts, you can notice that the bar will go up and down. 
a bit. Hold your bar and chain up, up like so, and tighten your, your screw. With pressure still up on the bar, tighten up your nuts. And you can see there, you can pull the chain away from the bar, but it, but it wants to spring back. A final tighten on your nuts, they need to be tight. You don't want to be relying on your tightening mechanism to hold the chain. You want to be relying on, on these two nuts. That's all I'm going to do to that saw before we give it a run. And I will do the same thing to the 70cc saw. This is my 70cc Perlabarb chainsaw. I won't go over sharpening the chain or greasing the tip. I will do that, but I won't show it on camera. The air cleaner on this is a little bit different to the 91 cc saw so i'll just show you what that involves basically it's got two clips one on this side and one on this side and you just unclip them take the cover off one thing i do like about this setup your spark plugs right there and easy to get at on the other saw you have to take another piece off to get at the spark plug i'll make sure there's not too much dust floating around in there. I'll take the air cleaner off via this screw in here, just unscrew it, pull the screw out and carefully take the filter off. This is the hole the air goes down into, into the carburetor and you can see there's quite a bit of dust built up here so very carefully push that dust to the outside away from the hole so it doesn't go into the carburetor. Be very careful when you do that. The inside of the filter here is very clean. There's no problems. I'll go and now blow it out. I've blown the filter out. It's nice and clean now. Before I put the filter back on, I just want to put a little bit of rag very carefully, making sure not to get any dust in the carburetor, in the carburetor entrance. And just along here, there's a bit of dust that I'd like to get rid of. I always keep a brush in the ute with my chainsaws and I just use it to generally remove dust. <laughs> okay, that's got rid of everything there. None got in the carby. Now I'll put the filter back on the carburetor, do the screw back up tight. That's good. Inside here I'll just Make sure there's no dust. Put your lid back on like so. Do your retaining clips up and that's all there is to cleaning the air cleaner. I'm now going to sharpen the saw and grease the bar, fuel it, etc., and we'll be ready to go. Here I've got a log that I'm going to cut and we'll try both saws on it. This smaller timber on this end I'll use for a warm-up run and then we'll get into the heavier timber up here in a while. The first saw I've got is a 70cc pearl above chainsaw and I'll show you how to start it. Just here it has a decompressor, so push that. Here it has a switch to turn it on, turn it on, pull the choke on. Once it fires, push the choke in, press your decompressor again. I've had this saw now for well over a year and it's a saw that I keep in my ute all the time. It's a really handy size. It's big enough that it can do a decent job but it's not that big that it's heavy and unwieldy. I have a 24 inch bar on it and that's about as big as I would put on it. It uses 38058 chain all this is being filmed and played back in actual time. I haven't sped anything up or slowed anything down. What you are seeing is what you get. Now I've got the 91cc saw and the decompressor on it is here. Press that down. On the back of your saw here, you have a lever. Pull your trigger and push it all the way to the bottom and pull the saw till it fires. Press your decompressor in and lift this lever up one click. 
After using the 70cc saw, this saw feels very solid and a bit heavier. I will primarily use this saw for bigger jobs, felling and cutting big firewood rounds predominantly. This chainsaw has a 25 inch bar and the chain is a 38063 chain. Both saws are warmed up now and I'm just going to cut this log off so I can do a time comparison. This log is a bloodwood and it's been dead for 10 years. It's hard as obs are hell. I will start the stopwatch now. This saw comes with a one year warranty and if you read Jono and Jono's warranty conditions on their website you'll find everything you want to know about warranty. Watching this cut through this I'm surprised how quickly it goes. When you're behind the saw, you don't realise how quickly it is really cutting. The time elapsed for those three bits of wood was 33 seconds. We're now going to give the 70cc saw a run and see how it goes. Unfortunately, in the heat of the moment, I forgot to adjust the camera and keep the whole shooting match in the frame while I was cutting these next three cuts. However, the first lot of cuts averaged 11 seconds a cut, and this one took 20. You can see the next cut just in the top corner of the frame. And that cut took 21 seconds. Both of these saws are sharp. And I don't think there's much difference in the sharpness of the saws at all. I won't show the third cut. You can't see it very good. But what this does illustrate to me is that the 91cc saw is a lot quicker. There's something a bit different. Here I've got a hardwood stump. It's about 15 inches across. I'll cut a piece off with each saw and just see how long it takes. First off, I've got the 70cc saw. Okay, I'll start the stopwatch. I've had this saw for well over 12 months and it has done most of the work on the place in that 12 months. I also have a 62cc pearl above chainsaw and I use that when I've got to do finer work like down the yards where I'm trying to do a bit of carpentry, etc. Nothing has gone wrong with either saw. They've both been reliable, no problems whatsoever. The only thing I don't like on the 70cc saw is the fuel and oil caps. Having said that, the saw they're copied off, I didn't like the fuel and oil caps on it much either. It took 45 seconds. Now I've got the 91 cc saw. Start the stopwatch now. I'm not really sure what this timber is, but crikey, it's hard. One thing I've realised is when you're cutting down, the extra weight of the bigger saw helps a lot. Cutting sideways like that where you've got to push it the difference in time isn't quite so noticeable. The other thing that the bigger saw would be good for is if I want a really long bar, you know, for felling really big trees. The bar I've got on the 70cc is about at its maximum now. This one took 30 seconds to cut through. That about wraps up this edition of Farming Live Australia. We'll see you next time.